Hey there everybody, you're here with Rich Sharpentier, and thanks for stopping by the channel. Um, over the past couple weeks we've been doing a lot of experimentation with drone software and testing out what's going to work in our business. So uh, my business partner Greg and I have been experimenting and trying just about everything under the sun. And today I decided to go out and have a little fun. And I went out and used, I'm looking over here at my iPad, I've been testing out DJI Ground Station Pro. So today I took my uh, DJI Mavic and I went out into the Granite Dells, which is an awesome set of rock formations. So this was for, uh, this was for fun. And um, I wanted to document some of the really cool climbs in the area. So I decided, let's try out Ground Station Pro. There's some things I like about it and some things I don't like about it. But the reason I'm doing this video is because with Ground Station Pro and uh, Pix4D Mapper, I created something pretty cool today. Um, and I actually rendered it really fast, so it's not the final product, but I wanted to share it here. So first, I went out to the Granite Dell, so I'm just pointing out my window here. We did a 15-minute walk into the Granite Rock Formations. There's some amazing climbs out there, so top roping, um, traditional climbing, and sport routes as well. So it's a very popular area for climbing, and I wanted to see if I could show off um, the rock formations and the canyons in an interesting way, and I said, I want to do a 3D model. So... I put together a quick item in Ground Station Pro, and there's some things that I like about Ground Station Pro and some things I don't like about it. So I'm taking my mouse here, and I've got copy of a copy of a copy, and then I've got copy of a copy of Mission 29, and then copy of Mission 29 and Mission 29. Um, I made four missions, and I actually did them on the fly while I was out in the Dells in, uh, in the rock formations. And so... The first mission was Mission 29 here, and I'm just zooming that in. So, Ground Station Pro, you can pre-program your flights, which is awesome, and I'm really digging that. Um, one of the things I don't like, so we're looking at my first mission, and you can see these little green lines here. Um, so, I was actually flying from south to north, so the drone was facing north. And what's different about it than, let's say, Pix4D Capture or some of the other softwares out there is um, at each turn, the drone doesn't turn. So it started out by, um, let me see, right over here, my start point started out flying from south to north, and then it slid across, and then it started flying backwards with the camera still facing north. Slides across, and now it's flying forward again with the camera still facing north. So the problem with this is that I'm not getting still images um, for the other side of the rock range here. So in order to compensate for that, I had to make copy of mission number 29. And so I'm just clicking down here. And so that one starts over here on the northwest side. And it's flying forward with the camera facing south, slides to the side and then starts flying backward with the camera facing to the south. So you get the idea. So I first flew from south to north, then I flew from north to south, then I changed it up again and flew from east to west, and then west to east. Now in something like Pix4D Capture, um, the drone turns, and they actually offer their grid missions, so that you're you're covering uh, four different points. So here I had to pre-plan, you know, well, I didn't pre-plan it, I did it on the fly, but I could come back and pre-plan. And actually, it doesn't take much longer than Pix4D Capture. Each of these was really quick. Number one, I flew this at 150 feet above ground level. And I'm just going to go in here and hit edit really quick so you can see. Here's my edit of my flight path. And I'm just sliding this over. So the flight time on this one, you can see right there on screen, approximately 2 minutes and 14 seconds. And 58 images captured. And if I arrow back and go to the next mission, and I'm going to slide that over again, another 2 minutes and 14 seconds, another 58 images. And then we drop down. Let's go take a look at mission number 29 which was my south to north, and this one 
two minutes, 19 seconds with 65 images captured. And that was pretty accurate. It was close in there. It was probably closer to three minutes per. And with all of my setup and testing, um, running this test overall, um, I swapped out one battery. Uh, I didn't really need to, but I just, you know, err on the side of safety. Um, uh, we did four missions and we did it in the span of a, a battery and a quarter, let's call it. So I'm going to go ahead here and look down for a moment. I'm going to close out of the mirror mode. So we'll stop mirroring there. There we go. So after, uh, after we were done, I raced back to my Airstream because I really wanted to see the results here. And so we captured a lot of images. And as you can see, let's just pull up one of the images from the Granite Dells. So you can see the canyons below, you can see some of the cool rock formations up top. These are actually very tall trees down here, so these are fairly deep canyons, and it makes for some interesting climbing. So I loaded um, the images, about 180 images, um, into the Pix4D Mapper Pro Macintosh Beta. And so I'm just using the trial of Pix4D right now, and I decided to do a fast render because I didn't want to sit here waiting all day. This iMac is too underpowered to, um, to do the full render without leaving it on for hours. So um, offloaded the images, dropped them into Pix4D Mapper, and what came out of it I think was pretty incredible. So beyond uh, our business, this is a lot of fun for my backyard and for finally documenting uh, the Granite Dells and some of the climbs in a way that I, I never could have before. I've done a lot of great photography from the Granite Dells, but um, I've never been able to capture the depth of the canyons and doing this 3D model with the, uh, with the DJI Mavic um, has... has yielded something incredible. So here we are in Pix4D and I've got my little model down here and then I've got these weird lines because I just learned how to do a fly through of my 3D model, which I'll show you in a minute. But first, I'm gonna zoom in here, whoops. And you can actually see, so like I said, this is not a full render, this was a really fast render. And you can still take a look around through here. So. We actually had the helipad, whoops, over zoom. There's my helipad right there, and you can see my little bag of junk down here. Like I said, this is not the high-end rendering yet, and I will be doing that, but you can see the rock formations in such a unique way. And I'm gonna zoom back out, and I'm gonna click on this flight path really quick. So just to take you through, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the playback now. So. Here we go. We have a fly through of the 3D model that was created this afternoon. So less than two hours after we went out and shot this um, with the Mavic, I've got this test rendering and kind of a slick little fly through. Uh, what has blown me away here is that we in fact captured all of the detail 360 around the entire map so we can see the rock walls. And so that first one that we bounced in on was called Perfect Dome, and there's a couple of good climbs in there, including one called Perfect Idiot. And it's Perfect Idiot because you always hurt yourself in the same way, and you leave skin and blood behind every time. Now we're flying over another one called Emerald City, and that's got all the green lichens on the rocks. And I'll actually run it through one more time just so you get a second view of it, but this really blew my mind. Um, how detailed this is, and this isn't even the high-end render. So with Ground Station Pro and with Pix4D Mapper, I was able to create a really compelling model, and I'm really looking forward to seeing the final version uh, probably tomorrow when I run this. I'm also running it on Pix4D's website since I have the opportunity to test on it. But so we're seeing the backsides, we're seeing all of the detail of the rocks. We've got the trees around. And here we come again on the Emerald City Wall, which isn't vertical. It's actually back leaning most of the way. So that's not a climb that I've ever done yet. All right. So there's our excitement for the day and our continuing learning um, with, the, uh, with the Mavic Pro. 
And big shout out to um, Drone U as well. Thanks for all the information, guys. Um, I've learned a lot, and now we're getting a lot of this uh, 3D mapping and modeling uh, rolling here for, for what we're going to be doing with our own business. So thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this, and hope it gives you some ideas of some of the fun and... Uh, yeah, some of the fun that you can have uh, 3D modeling with a drone.